Have you ever wondered how I hang my pictures in my RV? If so, keep watching this video because we're having a battle between nano tape and command strip. Which one works best for me? see a lot of people asking how they hang pictures and hang things on their walls and what they use. So in this video, I'm going to make me a picture wall here and I was going to show you all the different ways that there is available to hang things in a camper. This is going to be like a weird spot because I'm doing a picture wall here in the hallway and it's, it's kind of tight a little bit, but we're going to make this work because I wanted to show you the different ways there is to hang things on your walls in your camper. I know a lot of people ask questions and have questions about this. And so I wanted, since I was going to do this photo wall anyway, I wanted to show you the ways that I use. The two ways that I attach pictures is nano tape and command strips. Now I have only been using this nano tape for I guess probably about a month, month and a half. I've had a lot of people recommend this and then I wanted to try it out to see how well it did. So I had taken some of my pictures because I know everybody and I can't give you the reason why or why not, but command strips sometimes turn loose. And there is no rhyme or reason because I have some pictures that have this on there and they've been up for three years and haven't fallen yet. Then I've had some pictures that fell after a couple of years, a couple of pictures that had fallen and I was gonna use the nano tape to put them back up with. I have to say after a month and a half of some really hot weather, they have stayed up and they've worked great. I'm starting to think that I like the nano tape better than the command strips but I'm still gonna use the command strips. But what I like about the nano tape is it's a two for one. You can hang pictures with it and you can also, like the museum putty that I've always loved, you can use this instead of the museum putty and attach things to counters and different things and it doesn't leave like a residue like the museum putty if it's not a sealed surface. Also, from what I can tell, this nano has not pulled off any of the fake wood, I put some on a place that you couldn't see and let it sit for about a few weeks and then I pulled it off and the finish did not come off and I've had some command strips pull finish off. So I'm starting to think that the nano tape is starting to be my favorite. Now, I did have one picture I hung with this and the back of it had like paper on the back of it and this did not want to stick to that. So I had to go to the command strips for that. But other than that, this stuff has worked great. I hung my Adventures Awake picture that I have up here on my picture wall that I'm doing just to add something else to see if it would hold and it has stayed up there and hasn't fallen off. Now, I have not driven down the road and tested that part of it, but I don't know about you, but typically every picture that I have had fallen off the wall is when it's sitting here and not moving. I don't have any fall off during move day. Now I'm gonna say that and they're all gonna fall off the next move day. But typically I don't have any problems with them falling off on move day. I only have problems when it's sitting still. And I think that's because typically when it's sitting still, it's, it doesn't have the air on, it doesn't have the heat on. So the, the, it's to the elements that are outside. So I wanted to show you how I hang pictures and I'm gonna do my picture wall here and I'm gonna use the nano tape and we're gonna use command strips as well. So I made these cute pictures frames. I got them at the Dollar Tree. It was just a piece of plain like this that you put a picture in. I spray painted it black and then they had like a stencil that you could get at the Dollar Tree and then I just stenciled the color on and then I did one reverse. And then that way it's got our pictures in them. So I'm gonna hang these up. I believe I'm gonna try the nano tape on these. It has like a, a fuzzy feeling back. It's wood, but it's still fuzzy feeling. And we're gonna see if the nano tape sticks to these. Now, to put the nano tape on, it's a double-sided sticky tape. You just go ahead and I, I, I 
kind of been using a bigger piece so I'm gonna do like a piece at the top and then two at the bottom for this one and I may not need this much but I just I feel like I'd rather be too much than not enough so you just take it cut it and then you just push it on to this really good and leave the backing on it putting all your tape on and then I'm gonna cut two smaller pieces for the bottom corners and then you just press it on really good to make sure that it's on there real good. And then you have to, and this is the hardest part of this, is you gotta get the edge up to get this back tape so you can peel it off. And you just peel that off. So I've got that all ready. And let me go over here on my wall and see where I want to put this photo. And I think I want it like right here. So basically all you do Oh, this is going to be hard. Let's see if I can put y'all over here. Like I said, I picked the worst wall to try to do this. But to put this up, all you do is I'm going to put this right here. You take it and then you just press it in. And it sticks. It holds really well. Like I said, this one is done with the nano tape. And like, I don't know. It's on there really good. It sticks really well. All right, I'm gonna go grab another picture and put it up above that one. So I did the exact same thing. I put the nano tape on the back and then I'm just gonna put this picture right up above this picture. You just get it level where you want it. And press it on. I feel like this is such an easy way to decorate the space. These were both just a dollar and then I painted them. And then I just cut and put my picture in them and they're super lightweight and really flat. But if they're real close to the wall because you don't want to see anything that sticks out real far on this wall. Then I have like this one that I did. This was actually from the Dollar Tree. It's in the Cracker Square section and it was a chalkboard. And I just took a picture and cut it down and stuck it inside of it. And now I'm gonna hang it up on my wall. I'm telling you, I have really enjoyed this Nano Tape. It has made a big difference. All right, so on this one, because it has this little lip on it, the nano tape seems to, uh, it's not thick enough. Like, how am I gonna explain this? See the little lip on this? If you put the nano tape inside of that, then it's not gonna stick. So you won't, because it's not thick enough. So if you wanna put the nano tape on this, you gotta make sure you're on that flat surface and then you just stick it like that. That way this is touching the wall because <laughs> I did hang up one of the pictures that I was just testing it on. <laughs> I put it on there and then went, oh, and it went, oh, because it wouldn't hold. Because the nano tape is not very thick. Don't you just put it on there? Make sure you press it on here really good. And then you just gotta peel this off. Like I said, peeling it off is the hardest thing. I got my nano tape off of Amazon. It, it was a double roll for eight, 819 so it is a great budget friendly option for the command strips as well all right that one is stuck up there with the nano tape i'm going to finish the wall and then we'll come back and talk about a little bit more about the nano tape here's another picture frame that i made from the dollar tree i took two they had like these little crate looking not really a crate I bought two of these, they were a dollar each, and then I just hot glued them together, put popsicle sticks on the back to make it more sturdy. And then I had these little clips and I put the clip on there and then I put the picture on there. So that way I can change out the picture and it would be cool to take quite a few of these and make a picture wall with it. I'm gonna go back and buy some more of these to finish out my wall, but I really like this. On this one, I'm putting up the nano tape. And another thing that I love about the nano tape is it is clear, so you don't see it. So like this, you can see through, and it, the nano tape is gonna be wider than my actual strips, but you're not gonna actually see that I hung them with anything because the command strips would end up sticking out on the, each side. This is another picture frame from the Dollar Tree. I just put our picture in it because they have some great picture frames at the Dollar Tree.
I'm loving how my picture wall has turned out. I'm gonna keep making some more and doing some different things. So the Nano Tape wins. Price point, because you get two of these rolls for $8.99 and you can hang tons and tons of pictures. If you missed my last week's video, the shop with me at Target for your RV, I got this strainer and I love how it fits in here. If you wanna watch that video, I'll link it here, but I'm loving my new strainer. I don't need this drying mat on my counter anymore. Now, I'm still gonna have to keep command strips because there is projects that require those because these picture frames would not, the nano tape wouldn't hold them up because when I would put them on there, the nano tape wasn't thick enough to touch the wall. So I'm going back to my command strips on these. I hope you enjoyed this battle between command strips and nano. If you like how our camper looks and are wondering what decor works for us, then this is the video for you. And you can subscribe. Till next time, like and subscribe.